This is the confirmant of the Distinguished Global Award for Excellence in Women Empowerment and Gender Development. The award is coming in recognition of Mrs. Buhari's humanitarian contribution, especially her effort in fighting gender-based victimization, human trafficking, and for uplifting the women folk in Nigeria. While dedicating the award to women who struggle towards justifying their cause, Mrs. Buhari reaffirmed her commitment in sustaining her advocacy in pushing forward the demands of women and the realization of their full potentials. Women are the receiving end of countless instances of abuse and victimization all over the globe, and I make it my responsibility to do the best I can to give the hope to those affected and to discourage other cases from happening in Nigeria. As you are all aware, my Future Assured Initiative implements a number of programs to uplift the status of women through health advocacy and support, economic and educational empowerment, protection against abuse, and as well as encouraging political involvement among women. Our hope is that women will become more aware of the opportunities open to them to live better lives while being confident of society's protection. The program, which was coming at the sideline event of the 73rd session of the United Nations General Assembly, was attended by the African First Ladies comprising Deputy Chair of Ofla and the First Lady of Burkina Faso, Sika Kabore, Niger Lala Malika Yusufu, and the Gambia, Fatima Toba Baro, as well as other distinguished Nigerians, including the Nigeria's permanent representative to the United Nations, Dr. Tijani Bande. In the continent of Africa, Nigeria is the mightiest country, and nobody can stop you people. <laughs> Mrs. Buhari was also presented with the Honorary Citizen of Georgia Award from the state of Georgia under the resolution of Georgia Senator Steve Hansen. The Global Empowerment Movement is an American global humanitarian organization in a special consultation status with the United Nations Economic and Social Council headed by Dr. Queen Blaison Itwa. From New York City, Ali Ukabir, NTNU.